In this video, we'll look at how Rapier works and um, select the tasks that we want to use or the checks that we want to run against the system here in the first window. Since we it denotes that we have missing files, we'll not run those checks. We'll just deselect it. And we'll scroll down. We'll find some more that are run from the default install. We'll just uncheck them. Um, we also want to actually include a couple of others here that aren't checked, like this one and this one, and then we'll go ahead and run it. And you can see down here it gives us the status of what module it's on, as well as the status bar and how long it'll take to run. This will actually take a little bit of time to finish. We'll go ahead and pause it here and then come back when it's close to being finished. At some points as it progresses through the scan it'll hit software that's licensed and it'll just pop up a license agreement text the first time that you use it. So in this case we'll go ahead and click on agree and then it'll continue to run. I'll go ahead and pause it until it's about finished. And resuming now, as it's gone through all the modules, it's going to zip up the results and then uh, create some output on the file system that we'll be able to examine once it's finished. I'll pause again until it's done. Okay, it's uh, finished and it tells us the little status windows that all modules, all modules have finished running. The total execution time was 581 seconds. The total zip time was 92 seconds. And of course, we're not using a client server for this model, so there was no upload time. This will conclude this video on Rapier.